Welcome back everyone to another Coach Blickers video. This is going to be a commentary. I used to do these a while ago, but I stopped. <clears throat> but I'm going to start doing them again. If you guys want a specific champ or a specific role, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I will make that for you. So, I ban Diana every single game just because um, she's broke. I think she's really broken. So, I would just perma banner. Maybe I'll play her for a, a gameplay and kind of go over why I think she's broken. But... We're gonna play Vi here. Um, I'm gonna play Vi for one of my students, actually. They play a lot of Vi, they play a lot of Lily too, but I'm gonna play Vi. And uh, yeah, so you know who you are. There you go. Speaking of students, if you guys are interested in coaching, coachblicket.com is where you wanna go. Also, if you guys are on the fence about coaching, um, and you guys are like, ah, I don't really know if I benefit from it, I don't really know if it's for me, there's an option on my site, totally free, where we can discuss coaching and we can go over one of your games and you know pretty much see if it's a good fit for you. So think of it like a little test run. I highly recommend it for players who are really trying to improve and climb. If you're not, then obviously please don't do that. Don't waste my time, your time. Um, we both got better things to do. I could be helping other people and you could be doing you know something else better for you. So there's a couple of runes that you could take for Vi. You could take Conquer, you could take Lethal Tempo, um, you could take Electrocute and you can take Hella Blades. Those are the four, did I say three? Four, those are the four you could take. Usually Electrocute's kind of awkward to proc on Vi, so most Vi players just take Hella Blades. Um, Conquer is just really good into melees and uh, so is Lethal Tempo. But I would suggest a ton of melees for Lethal Tempo and maybe just a few melees for Conquer. And it also really depends on what build you go, right? If you go Eclipse, then obviously the best bet is gonna go uh, Electrocute or Hella Blades for the burst damage. If you're going to go Sunder, then Lethal Tempo or Conquer is the way you want to go. I personally like Sunder, but we'll see. We'll see based off the comp here. So we have a Yasuo, we have an Aatrox, we have a Lulu. Um, they have a Sina, Kha'Zix, and Olaf. So one thing right off the bat we know is we're not going to be able to auto attack Kha'Zix too much, right? That's a champ that just goes invisible. So already scratch off the list. We're going to go Hella Blades. Um, point blank period. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Secondary tree, you can pretty much go either Alacrity or Sorcery or Resolve actually. She does fine with three. She's very, she's one of those champs that's just very flexible, you know? So we're just gonna go with that. Triumph is really good because you're always in the thick of the fight and I just like the attack speed. You can go with Coup de Gras if you would like to. It is a lot more burst damage if you go Triumph into uh, Coup de Gras, but I personally like the attack speed it provides. Actually, all of them, I'm not gonna be able to auto attack. I lied, we're just gonna do this then. All right, that's, that's the setup we're going with. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I'll explain more once we're into the game here. I think we're going against Olaf. Oh no, we're going against Kha'Zix. I trolled you. I hardcore trolled you. Uh, okay. So we're going into Kha'Zix. This is a gold game, as you guys can see. We're going into Kha'Zix. Um, I don't want it to be too loud. I actually don't know how loud it would be for the video. We're just going to assume 42 is fine. You go Red Smite or Blue Smite. Red Smite's very good into champs like that because you don't get one shot, whereas Blue Smite's obviously good for chasing. I'm going to go Red Smite here because there's champions that can one-tap you. Kha'Zix, Akali, you know, very good one-tappy champs. So we're going to just do that. Uh, I'm going to go top just to watch my buff here. Like I said, you know, there is an Olaf, Kha'Zix, Akali. These are kind of the champs that are very dangerous to play against. So Olaf into Aatrox, and knowing these matchups is kind of important. You don't have to know the details about them, but just know kind of how it's going to go. So Olaf into Aatrox. Aatrox is actually a really strong champ, so if we can get that guy rolling, it's kind of game over for Olaf. Um, Akali into Yasuo. I think it's more of a skill matchup. I think it really just depends on who plays it better, but Yasuo does have the push into Akali, so he should have pride most of the time. As far as Tristana, Lulu into Sivir and Sinna. I think that they just kind of auto win that lane if they play it right in terms of like jumping on them and killing them. But in terms of like wave shove potential, they should be shoved in. I'm going to start bot and path top because I do indeed want to uh, 
Hopefully they didn't invade me. People don't usually watch buffs in this elo. It's kind of sad. Um, but yeah. You can start E for the shield. Or you can go W for the attack speed. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to smite that. Get that walking over to me so I'm ready for it. Cool. Go ahead and continue to do this. So yeah. My bot lane should be able to kill him. But they're going to have a really, really hard time laning if they can't all in. So that's something to just think about. I'm going to clear all three of these camps just because, you know, I want as much gold as possible. You could three camp into a gank, but I like to just do my whole top side. Or my whole bot side. I say. It doesn't really take that long. I just want to try to maximize how much gold and experience I get. Sometimes it makes a difference. Right, now go ahead and go to the top side here. He's already dead, basically. So this sucks, because I am packing to the top and I'm trying to play for that guy. But he already died. Gonna put a ward over the wall, because we don't want Kha'Zix to come around. Gonna pop my potions so we can try to stay as healthy as possible. Try to kite back a little bit. You wanna always kite to where you're going. Kiting to where you're going makes it a huge difference. So we know Olaf back, right? And we also know Kha'Zix is probably topside. So we're going to have to have a 2v2, and Olaf is going to be a bit stronger because he did back. If Kha'Zix is full clearing, he shouldn't be able to get this crab. We'll just try to hurry up and get it at 315. And then we'll double crab. So we're just going to Q, E, smite. Got it. I don't want to go for that gank. Even though it looks kind of juicy, like I said, Kha'Zix could be there. So we have to be careful. Very good wall. She's going to have to flash. Let's see which way she flashes. We see Kha'Zix coming up. I could just... F uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Cool. I didn't know she had flash, but the thing is, she'd be, she was just 100% dead if I flash onto her. Oh, nice. 100% dead if I flash onto her. Like I said, I didn't want to go for a gank top because we knew Kha'Zix was there, right? So if Kha'Zix was to finish his camp... He's going to walk this way and then go for crab. Uh, I'll explain more after this gank. Oh, she has no HP and it's probably warded, so we're just going to back here. Because I didn't back in Kha'Zix's bot side, we're going to have to probably do our Gromp because we don't want him taking it from us. He's already trying. He's already trying to. I'm gonna put a ward there, because he did put a ward over the wall. I should have hit the plant into where the ward is, but I didn't. So this is kind of what you gotta do if you mess up your back timings, and a jungler could take your camps. You're gonna have to kind of bite the bullet and just do your camp so they can't take them. The name of the game as jungle is to be efficient. You already know he's right there. Is to uh, be efficient. So you don't wanna waste time. And also you don't wanna give free things to the other jungler. But yeah, like I was saying, we're definitely backing after this. 100% backing after this. So, like I was saying, the way that Kha'Zix would clear, he'd go Gromp Blue. So he'd walk out of here, which means that if I go for a gank top, he's a higher chance that he counter, counter kings me. Uh, we're gonna get boots too. We just wanna be able to walk faster, chase easier. There goes Kha'Zix. And so, okay, nice little poke trade. And we want to keep the rhythm of pathing up, so we're going to start Raptors and then go to Krugs. So we want to basically mimic like we did a full clear, even though we didn't. And I know that these concepts might be a lot, which is why I plan to make more like videos of these things. So that way, you know, slowly but surely you piece them all together. He is bot side. He could go for a gank here. He is overextended, but a is not really looking to be aggressive. We'll see though. We'll counter if we if he's gonna gank. So we're gonna skip our crux because we know that Olaf or not Olaf. Kha'Zix can have a free chance of ganking. So we just kinda wanna play it to this side. Oh there he goes. He already hopped in, so he's forced to flash out. If he Damn, that sucks. That's fine. If I I, I could have played that better. I could have charged my Q a little bit more, but I didn't, because I'm a griefer. He surprised me. I didn't think he was going to be there. 
So we're just gonna take this. We know that he's bot side on that crab. I'm gonna go for a gank here. Circumstances. She's overextended. We know where Kha'Zix is. She, she, what? Don't even really know why she flashed. She wasn't getting away anyway. Cool. Go for drag here. I'm not really too concerned about trying to outsmite a Kha'Zix because Bai has a very good, like, smite secure. Always have a pink ward for situations like this, as you see. I can use it. But yeah, her E is a very good smite secure. So it does 131, right? And if you're not sure if it actually does the full 131, I'm pretty sure Kha'Zix is there. You could test it, but I'm not going to test it right now because we need to do the damn drag. So we're just going to bank on 500. Oh, that was not 500. That was 600 that I did that on. My bad. Look, my bad. But yeah, you can see it's instant. She literally does it in instant. Well, like I was saying, you could test it with E and see what your number is because it's not always the exact number because like Dragon and Baron have resistances. But if I like E right now, like let's see what it is. 201, right? Even though this says 131, Gromp doesn't have much armor. So it's 201. So if I was trying to smite, then I would add it and I would smite at that. That's how you do smite secures. You stack the smite on top of each other. I'm just gonna continue to clear. My main goal right now is to get the uh, Eclipse. That is my main goal. And so I don't really want to be bothered while I clear, if I don't have to be. We're gonna kind of walk this way, just in case we have to gank mid. We don't, like I said, I don't want to, but if I have to, I will. We're just gonna continue to farm. I don't really want to use my Q to get over the wall because I might need to use my Q for like a fight. Right? So if you don't know if you're gonna be having to fight, you just hold your Q, because it's such a long cooldown. Probably would have been up by now though. She went back onto that? We're just gonna sit here so that Kha'Zix doesn't try anything funky. I'm gonna get executed. Ha, huh? she hit me? Well, I would have just flashed out. I honestly didn't really want to take that. I'm not going to lie. I hesitated. If I wouldn't have hesitated, I wouldn't have died. I promise. But because I hesitated in my mind, um, I hesitated in my mind, I actually ended up dying. And this is one of the concepts that I try to teach too when I'm coaching. Coach look at that comment. That's all I'm trying to say. Is that you really do have to be decisive when you play. When you're going for a play. Because I was indecisive there, I ended up dying. I didn't even have to. I could have committed and just got out and wouldn't have died at all. But I didn't know if I wanted to go for it. And then I queued in and I was like, I guess I go for it. So, yeah. That was kind of on me. We know Kha'Zix is bot side. So I'm not really tripping about doing Rift Herald. We're just going to take it. We don't have ult anyway. So trying to gank without ult is kind of grief. Vi is way better just playing off of her ultimate than she is just spam ganking. If you can get the opportunity, go for it. But if not, try to be more conservative about what you do without your R. I always take it to the back so that way if someone walks by, you kind of have to be pretty damn close to the gap to see me. We can just go for a dive here. I don't have R, but this dude's like one banged. Damn, he spotted me. Yeah, we're just going to wait it out. I mean, he can't kill me, can he? I don't think so. Bro, if he was able to kill me, I would have, like, AFK'd. No, I wouldn't have, but... <laughs> We're gonna drop the Rift for him. I kinda just wanna scan, just to see if Kha'Zix is here. We could press Tab. I didn't pan my camera to see if he was down there, but if you press Tab, you see there's a question mark. So we actually don't know where Kha'Zix is right now. Because there's a question mark near his name. Like, that's the easy way to figure out where someone is without panning. Because they're all clumped, right? I can't see their portraits. So. He could come up here. He see me walk down. But I didn't want to face check him. So now we got Dragon to, to, to worry about. So we want to make a plan for Drag. So I can either recall, get ready for Drag, and then path. But then I'd be pathing up, right? Or if I'd be pathing down, um, I'd be sitting on gold. But if I path down right now, and then I recall, I can spin the gold and be as strong as possible, right? Because what sense does it make to back and then farm up more to then not use the gold that you got? 
it just doesn't make much sense when I could farm the top side, recall, and then farm the bot side and get as much spending as possible done. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and back, ping him back. Because we, we don't want them fighting before we can buy. Because we can buy our stuff. This is definitely a Ninja Tabby's game. They all have auto attacks. Um, we could probably go Death Dance too, because they're pretty much all AD. Except the Akali. But even then, she does AD damage, and it will help prevent burst damage. We could probably go like Sterix or something after. Vi is very flexible on builds, which is why I think she's such a good champ. Mm, we, could, we, we, we win this. If he just keeps running to me, we like hard win. We hard win this. It's not even a joke. Uh. Mm. Okay. Well, I didn't think he would continue to fight the Senna. So what I was gonna do is I was just gonna flash Q the Senna, but I was debating should I just Q over the wall or not. But I could have played that better to where I didn't die. But I don't know what he was focusing. That was weird. Instead of just focusing the Olaf right in front of us, he decides to focus. That. And I also didn't need to, to ult the Sivir. I only ulted the Sivir because I knew my Q wasn't going to reach. I wanted him to continue walking up, and then I would just Q her and kill. But because he walked to this, my Q wasn't going to reach. So it was kind of misplayed by him, which then in turn domino effect the misplay. They're on drag. They need to like get the dragon instead of like fool around. Should have just Q'd over. Would have got there faster. I don't have smite, but we could probably kill him. This dragon's pretty hard to take. Oh, okay, they didn't even start it. I don't want to do it because I don't have smite right now. So because no one's like here, um, I think I'm just gonna flash Q on somebody. There you go. She's dead too. No, oh, he has that. He could just Q on the wave. Perfect. Huh? Bruv. So like one of the things that I don't like to do is 50-50 smite. So I would just rather fight somebody. She shouldn't be hitting the ward because he can see once he hits the ward. And she's probably going to die. And she needs to get off of that. The more you stand on that thing, the easier it is for them to know the positioning of where you are. And then he could just easily come kill, right? Like that type of stuff is very, very huge. I have ult, so we can probably help him. I have to aim it really well, though. Damn, I missed. That's fine, we got her. What? If I can eat her. Bam. Oh, it didn't work! It didn't kill her. It didn't do enough damage. If I held the Q, it would've killed her. But it didn't work. She was actually able to kill me through it. Maybe the Conqueror prop. Which is why. I don't know. That interaction. Damn. Unluck. Alright, uh, but yeah, we still want to just kind of go ahead and build the Death Dance. I'm going Pickaxe because I want some more damage. The next thing we get is going to be Rift Herald, so we're going to path up to Rift Herald. Again, you want to always have plans to the next objective coming up. Um, one thing that you could do as a player to just really improve your fighting is just pay attention to every fight. That fight that I died there, I actually could have waited to ult the Akali, and then I could have ulted the Sinna while ulting Akali. Like, I could have played it like that, right? I could have had a double knockup. So just simple stuff like that, if you pay attention to, it helps a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the crab, because I want my sequencing to be not messed up. Okay, now we're gonna go get the crab. <laughs> we could get level 10 if we take red buff after crab. We do know that's at the ward here. I don't want to use my smite because the Rift Herald's coming up. Um, he doesn't have TP. But Rift Herald's up. But Akali's down there too. I'm going to go ahead and grab the red buff just so it's easier. Okay. 
Now we should be level 10, which we are. I'm not really afraid to walk into them. We see Olaf, which is the scary part. I think I'm just going to sit right here. Because Cossack should, in theory, just walk right into me. Because he wants to come from behind. Huh, I guess he didn't. And Akali rotated. And our top laner didn't. So that just goes away. Huh. Maybe I can still. Nope. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I shouldn't have went for that, but I kind of just wanted gold. Vi does it really well with items, so I'm just trying to get them as fast as possible. But that, um... That, he shouldn't allow her to rotate. He should have followed. So situations like that, you kind of have to just give up the objective. I didn't realize that Akali was rotating or I would have, teamed my ping, my, would have pinged my team off. So if you don't have a numbers advantage, like you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to let it go. But like I said, I wanted the damn, I, I wanted the, the, the death dance. So I didn't mind like dying for that play because I knew I'd win it. Also, we got her some. Kind of sucks that he's taking my camp, but it is what it is. Hopefully he uses it. Properly. Um, Dragon's coming up. Again, we don't have our team. Damn. Look, you see how they mess up my sequencing? Like, well, Raptors are gone because someone took Raptors. Gromp is gone, so I only farmed one camp. We just need to go ahead and push mid. When stuff like that happens, you have to do your best and make a play while they're making a play. There's no wards, I'm scanning. We just go for a dive, I guess. I'm glad I didn't do that. What? I don't have R? I hate how, like, Sin is an AD carry. That shit sucks, dude. I have smite up. Make it look like she can kill me, but she can't. We go back. Should be fine. <sighs> Fucking Collector. I think Collector is such a strong item, man. Oh, yeah, see, it was not the play. Oh, I would have actually like been able to live there. Collector is so strong. Uh, what should I go next? Hmm. Oh, I did say I wanted to go Sterix, huh? I died to Collector and Death Dance, actually. Died to both of them. Oh, she doesn't have Collector. I lied. I just died to Death Dance. That's one of the reasons why I don't like Death Dance, is because it low-key just straight up kills you. But with Vi, because you get shield so often, it negates the death dance effect if used properly which is why i don't mind it on her i swear i thought i had r at that akali fight though i was going to peel off the tristana but it wasn't working i didn't notice damn they get that tower it's fine though uh i really don't want to fight till i have ult so i kind of just want my team to know that i just rather wait till i have r this is warded no the dragon can just see you? That's weird. Okay, you also doing Yas things. We're just gonna have to kill this guy. You're actually kidding me. Well, that works out, I guess. I kind of don't have anything to give, so I'm just going to hit this to heal up a bit. Alright. That was good for us. Um, you got to make sure you're smiting the right targets when you're fighting. I already knew my death dance was going to try to keep me alive. And like I said, Vi is very good with items, so it's really crucial that you get them. Which is why I didn't mind getting dying for that death dance, because I knew I'd get it. 
And it's all about target selection as well. You see I was focusing the right target at the right time. Um, it's really huge that you do that. We did lose two towers for that, though, so I don't know if that was technically worth, but... Gold-wise, it wasn't worth, but maybe stat-wise it was, especially if we can get soul. Can we go for that play? Yeah, we probably can. Yeah, that's probably a really good call, actually. The minions should be shoving past this point so they can't see me cross over. And they should be on the Aatrox, because Aatrox is worth some moolah. Yeah, this is actually a solid play here. Even though I need to back, it's still a solid play. One thing I notice a lot in Lolilo is that people tend to back because they get their item instead of actually just doing the play. You don't need your items to do a play if it's something like this. If it's a team fight, I get it. But if it's like a sneaky Baron or a drag, like you don't need to back. And I see that a lot. Like if you don't have to fight champions, there's no reason to always back for your item. It doesn't matter. You don't have to fight anybody, right? You don't need the stats. But you could be like, well, if you had your item, you can take Baron faster. I do get that, but there's no contesting. So it's not even going to be that much quicker. Right? Because I mean, it doesn't really matter how fast it takes, honestly. Because you should be able to get it if it's a sneaky Baron. Really, really good for us. I'm just going to defend top. I still haven't backed. Uh, can I? Yeah, they have to like straight up dive me. And it's not going to be easy if they try. I promise that. Lulu's on her way too. I'm just going to clear. Juke the axe. Just walk around while he tanks. Go on that Kha'Zix to displace. Okay. And she's dead too. You probably go on her too. Very easy. Literally, it was just all about like dodging the Olaf. He's the only one that can really kill me. I, I ulted the Kha'Zix so I can get away from the Akali. So to like move away from her, to displace myself from her. So that way, like she has to run all the way to me to get to me. Basically making it so it's a it's a better fight to take on from my end, right? If I'm all the way on the Kha'Zix, well then I can't fight a, a, Olaf or Akali because they're too far away from me. Reading your team fights is a very easy way to like 1v5 your games. Very easy. Yeah, we're not we're not messing with Olaf, but what we can do is just kind of sit here. You just have to be very careful. You don't die. Okay, yeah, we're gonna die. You have to dip out. So we see Aatrox pushing already. So you know what? We're gonna stay in pressure with him as long as he stays. Although our mid's not staying, we want to make sure that if he stays, we stay. It doesn't look like he's gonna stay. So we can just dip out. Alright, now we can go ahead and get this. Getting a GA is huge. I could go ahead and get the chain vest because I'm already extremely strong. I can just get the most out of the defense, but I want to be able to just like one bang somebody, right? I want to be able to just smack somebody once and they die. So that's going to be our main goal here. I have a lot of our kills, man. Holy crap. I'm like our team. This is why I like Pi. She's very, she's very good at picking people. <laughs> as long as you keep your items, like I said, she's very item dependent though. She doesn't really care too much about being a higher level than someone. She just cares about having items. Yeah, we gotta be a little bit careful. We don't have our team. I'm just pushing the wave. I probably shouldn't have done that so I can give the CS to whatever, um, to Tristana. But anyway, I bought the stopwatch so that I can ult in and just hourglass myself, right? Because I'm the team, I don't want to die. So if I could just like pop in and then glass myself, it's so worth it. I thought about going on him. I really did. I'm just gonna go after the call here. And then we glass. And then we go on. Oh, I got exhausted. Damn. That's not good. I'm just gonna E the wave so I can try to hit her with it. I'm gonna just kind of kite him backwards. Damn, good Q. Very good Q. That was game if we kill him there. Damn, I could have played that better. I missed my E. I don't know 
why he's pinging me back. You're a two and six, buddy. I know what I'm doing. I mute people's pings that do that because they're very, very frustrating to me. Uh, we could probably get this before they spawn. Okay, I'm muting his chat too. I hate being told what to do by people that don't even understand what to do themselves. It's not like I feel like I'm just way better than the player. It's just like, do well first and then tell me what to do, brother. That's all that I'm saying. Kha'Zix is here. I'm gonna just be in this bush. Easy. Don't know why he hopped over. Maybe he thought I wasn't gonna do it. I'll probably just queue over it in the game here. I don't really need any more items. Her R is ridiculous range. I should be able to hit her when she casts. <laughs> Why is freaking nuts, man? That sh <laughs> the champion is actually insane. Like, she is actually insane. What in the world, bro? Like, she is actually an insane champion. She's so good at what she does. That's the thing. It's like she's one of those champs that's actually good at what she does. Like, she might not do a lot. She might be one-dimensional, but damned if she's really good at it. Mm, we'll just tank. Mm, that's game. <laughs> So, you know, the main thing that I like kind of want to stress about this game is obviously just kind of the way that you path um, dictates if you win or lose your games a lot of the time. Understanding that you got to farm sometimes rather than fight sometimes. Um, it's, it's a very big part of the game itself. Um, understanding when you can and can't fight is a very, very huge one as well. Um, it, it, it's, it's a very, very good kind of just mindset to think. How much damage did I do? Whew, I did a lot. Vi is nuts, man. Oh, that's not me. That's Aatrox. I mean, I still did a lot, but Vi is nuts, man. But yeah, it's, it's, it's understanding what you need to build. It's especially with a champ like Vi because she's so flexible. It's understanding what runes you need to take. Again, with Vi, she's very flexible. So taking the right runes are, are definitely uh, important with her. Um, it's also, like I said, knowing the, the ins and outs of your champion. Now, I'm not a Vi main to any extent. I think I'm a very solid player. Therefore, I mean, I used to main, but I used to main every single champion back in the day. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I haven't been maining her, but I still got my rustiness on her. But like I said, like, that's what it comes down to. Like picking the right fights, farming properly pathing to the objective, fighting around the objective, like all this stuff goes together. You see my team did not do well. They weren't really useful. Only one that was useful was Aatrox, but it took a while for him to be useful. As far as mid and bot lane goes, they just wanted to surrender. So, you know, it is what it is. Our Lulu wasn't that great either. It's not saying these guys sucked at all. It was just their performance this particular game was kind of uh, underwhelming. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Again, kusplicket.com if you guys are interested in coaching. Um, if you guys are on the fence, please go ahead and check out the thing that I offer on my site. It's totally free, and you can see if coaching is something for you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace, peace, late, late. Have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for approaching this like a coach.